Freshly showered Imco Forty here with a breakdown of some interesting decks that I kind of saw from this weekend's Lightning Overdrive sneak preview. So let's dig on into this, shall we? Smash your and crap out subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So the first list we actually have for you guys today is a Color Night list from Daniel Marino Smith out of his sneak peek. And yes, this is playing Lair of Darkness and all sorts of virusy shenanigans to punish the opponent. He finished X2. The more I look at this list, the more I want to play this. This is awesome. All right, so we have triple copies of Ahrima, the Wicked Warden. Also, guys, if you uh, show some love and like this video, I have a Dragoonity list out of this weekend sneak peek as well. And if any of you guys did good on uh, sneak peeks as well, send over your list as well, and I'll try to cover them on Tuesday as we head on into release weekend here. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of Stone Knight Altair, two copies of the Devil. Let's be honest here. Deb's not really as good as he used to be, you know, because where's the Teller Knight support at Konami, all right? Come on, it's been so long, and we still haven't gotten this. We have triple copies of Anukul High and two copies of Vega, along with triple copies of Lair of Darkness, triple copies of Proud of Prosperity, two copies of the Belista Squad. Hey, tribute an opponent's monster, target a card your opponent controls and destroy it. It's literally a two for one underneath the field spell. Triple copies of Welcome Back from the Grave, two deck Devies, hello, well, two copies of Heavy Storm Duster. Two copies of Ice Dragon's Prison, triple copies of Psalm Steve Reich, two Alpha, and triple copies of Trap Trick. Wrapping up the main deck here. Extra deck on here, we have one Underworld Goddess, Sorosh Rosh, one Nightmare Unicorn, one IP, one Tornado Dragon, triple copies of Trevere, triple, or excuse me, one copy of Deltaros, two copies of Constellar Diamond, one Baguski, two copies of Dark Teller Knight, Badalamias, one Degas Emerald, one Abyss Dweller, so deck here we have one Scythe, two Droll and Lockbird, two Nibiru, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, one Arby's Feather Duster, two copies of Artifact Sanctum, triple copies of Imperial Iron Wall, and one Red Reboot. Wrapping up, Teller Knights for everybody. I don't know what else to say about Daniel's list here. I uh, think that this is probably as spicy as it's going to get in terms of uh, the Teller Knight department. Now, next one was sent to me by Ariel Davis, and they said, hey, I won my local sneak peek playing none other than that's right ladies and gentlemen this duelist picked up everything that they needed to play full power all right and i mean full power and this is actually got some interesting tech in it so for this version of drytron from ariel davis we have triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring triple copies of diviner of the heralds this card is good Triple copies of Thuban, one copy of Altias, two copies of Altanen, triple copies of Aldbaya, two copies of Ava, triple copies of Ghost Spell, triple copies of Herald of Orange Light, one copy of Ben 10, one Natasha, one copy of Draconis, and one Herald of Ultimateness. Then we have one Call by the Grave, triple copies of everybody's favorite searcher, two copies of Fafnir, triple copies of Nova, one Foolish Burrow, one Instant Fusion, and two copies of Matanas. Along with a singular preparation of rights, wrapping up, well, the main deck as it is. Alright, so we also have triple copies of Anima, one copy of Link Aribo, one copy of Unicorn, one copy of Phoenix, one IP, one Apollosi, one Access Machine, one Assembled Nightingale, one copy of the Mu Beta here. Honestly, I know a few people are like, well, maybe you should try to. Honestly, looks like you can get away with one here for this list. We have one Zeus, one Beatrice, two copies of Herald, one Millennium Eyes, and one Anintis. Then we have triple copies of Cycle Reader, triple copies of Lancia, triple copies of Droll and Lockbird, triple copies of Hadoken, and triple copies of Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Wrapping up the first Drytron list here. Now, the second one here is Carlos Monagu, or Marungo's list. Uh, I heard a few people talking about... Um, he was doing some weird stuff, like resolving an Intis and the Hulk here, and shenanigans like that. I'm not sure what it was. A few people were like, well, what's the point in playing Hulk in the comment section when I was reading this? So, this list also went to 5 out of a 29-man local for a sneak peek. So, do that info for what you will. So, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. One copy of Cyber Petite Angel. Two copies of Diviner of Heralds. Probably going to eventually probably cut it for the third here when they would probably get it, right? Because I don't think you're going to play Mondry. But all right. We have triple copies of Alpha Thuban, one Altaeus, one Altanen, 
triple copies of Albaya, two copies of Ava, triple Herald, one copy of Manju, and then we have one Benton, one Edaten, one Natasha, and one Ultimateness. So, the difference between this, uh, you see the other list was playing Draconius, this one pretty much has forgotten it, but I think that's fine. Subtle differences is good. We have one Call by the Grave, two copies of Cyber Emergency, two Fafnir, triple Nova, triple Droplets, one Instant Fusion, one Metanius, and triple copies of Prosperity. The other list had, you know, two copies of this, while well, this one is only playing one. So, yeah, once again, total changes. We have one Link Karibo, one Unicorn, one IP, one copy of Halk, one Boral Sword, one Apollosi, one Assembled Nightingale, two copies of the Mubay to see. This one, this is where we're down in the pipeline. Here we have the two versus the one. I guess it depends on your option tree. We have one Zeus, one Beatrice, one Martial Metal, one Herald, one Millennium Eyes, and one copy of Anintis. Side deck here. We have triple copies of Rifeck Lancia, triple copies of Droll and Lockbird, triple copies of Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, two Nibirus, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, and everybody's favorite spell stopper of all time. Yep. Beer order. I, this card's ridiculous. I actually recently heard an entire thread about people being like, oh, this card needs to be... Man. It'd be like that. All right, some VIP qualifier shenanigans out of the last week or so here. Taking a step back here. So, my friend, Caesar Gonzalez, you guys remember him, right? The guru player that flip table and make everything strong. Well, we have some Stun Lich today. Actually, he won his VIP qualifier with this. So, triple copies of the Golden Boy, triple copies of Inspector Border, one Dark Magician, and one Red Eyes. That's the monster lineup, right? Proceed to play monkey sounds here. Triple copies of Cursed Old Land, one copy of the Black Awakening, one White Destiny, Two extra triple copies of Prod or Pot of Prosperity, triple Red Ice Fusion, triple copies of Conk, triple Scarlet Sanguine, triple Huguero, two copies of Ice Dragon's Prison, one in Pure Order, two Solemn Judgments, two Solemn Strikes, triple copies of Monkey Limit, and two copies of Torrential Tribute. Wrapping up the main deck. Wait, hey, wait, wait, what? This, this, this is this is modern stun, right? So, if you're a stun player and you're looking at this deck. You're probably like, oh, I don't like this, but it's fine because this is our stun brother. I, I think that this build is actually pretty good in terms of development for the game and eh, seeing some other stun variants. So we have one on Chained Abomination, one Verte, triple copies of Link Spider, one copy of Megaclops, one Emduk, two copies of Ultimate Falcon, one Last Warrior, triple copies of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, and two Anintas. Pretty standard stuff here. So I deck here with triple Ancia, two copies of Phantasme. Two Nibiru, one copy of Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, two Evenly Matched, and triple copies of Waking the Dragon. Wrapping up, well, Caesar's first place VIP qualifier. All things considered, I think that this is a pretty good stance on the metagame to counter it. I know a few people are going to look at this and go, Really? Five cards that excavate the deck for more resources? But my extra deck, but your red eye, I mean, yeah. I understand the confliction there with a few people, but I think that this is fine, honestly. All right, last list here. This is Nikolai Solo's first place VIP qualifier as well. Keep in mind the qualifier did not have Lightning Overdrive legal, or you probably see Bear Bloom in here. So, one of the very few lists that I'll cover until Lightning Overdrive is finally out. We can see Bear Bloom. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of Ghost Spell and the Haunted Mansion, Triple Gamma, one driver with triple copies of Froctal, triple copies of Karis, triple copies of Nerval, two Kit, and then our Zodiac package. Oh boy. One Ratman, one Ram Ram, and one Whiptail. Spells, one Call by the Grave, one Barrage, two Prosperity, triple Denki, triple Talents, triple copies of Strike, and triple copies of Revolt. This card's busted, by the way. Extra down here. Woo! One Omega, one Zeus, one Dryden, one Tiger Mortar, one Shockanine, and one Boar Man. Then we have one access code, one Apollosa, triple copies of Shirag, one copy of Rugal, one double Dragon Lords, one Baron, and one copy of Almirage. Side deck here. We have two copies of Lancia, two copies of Droll Nogbird, two copies of Twin Twisters, two copies of Lightning Storm, two copies of Hadoken, one of Pure Order, two anti spell fragrance, and two copies of Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up your chunk 
of deck list for today's video. If you guys did well out of Lightning Overdrive, send me your list. I will take a look at it, and I will try to get something put together for Tuesday. Just because you send me a list doesn't mean I can cover it. I have so many already as it is, but I do thank you guys uh, for this specific instance so we can build something at least over the next day or so. So what do you guys think about this list? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Smash it up. Grab that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on today with some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanco 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out McoGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.